Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to this video tutorial where I will explain to you how to convert your CRU to WCRU. The very first thing you will need to do is you will need to go to explorer3 extension.cryptonet.cc forward slash wallet forward slash auth. Okay, so write that down. Um, because that's the address that you will need to go to to do this particular conversion. Once you're here, you get to this particular screen, you put in your wallet address and your seed phrase, and then you sign in. Set your PIN. Set it. And proceed into your wallet. The very first thing that you need to do from there is you need to refresh your frozen. Refresh your frozen. This will go through a process. Depending on how many files you've got, we've only got one file in this particular account, so uh, it will go through very quickly. Some people have got a quite a number of files. Now, the reason you need to do this is because the blockchain is synchronizing with your API back office, your Evo Rich back office, and if you've got any unfrozen available, it will show up here. The very next thing you need to do is click refresh balances. As you can see, I've got no available CRU. That's come through since I did the uh, refresh frozen last time. So I move on to the next process. I then go to staking, stake CRU for UNTB. Okay, I have no unfrozen CRU, so I don't need to stake it. If you had some unfrozen CRU, stake it. So just do that. You grab that blue bar, move it across to there. It'll put the whole amount in here. You press stake, put in your pin number, and you, then you move on to the next process. In my case, I haven't got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an update. Put in my pin. Okay, that will then update the amount of unclaimed stake reward that I have had since I last updated. Okay, it's 243.4. I'm now going to claim it. This will disappear as it has. Go back to dashboard, make sure it's here, 243.4, which is correct. So I'm now ready to do the conversion. Before you do the conversion, you need to make sure that you have a, a USDU in your account. Okay, you cannot complete the conversion completely unless you've got the USDU in your account. So um, if you're unable to get it from the exchange, right, uh, talk to your upline or a sponsor, and they may be able to do a peer-to-peer -peer transaction with you to obtain your 50 USDU. Now, remember, USDU is our stable coin, which is equivalent to one US dollar. Okay, the next process we need to go through is to convert. Okay, you have you can do either CRU or you can do frozen CRU. In this case, we are doing frozen CRU. It will bring up this particular schedule. Okay, so I want to convert all my frozen CRU to WCRU. So I grab this button and I take it right to the left. It's telling me now that I am going to convert nine. 139,885.8286 CRU to WCRU. Once I've done that, right, I'm ready to press the conversion button. Before we do that, we can look at the unfreezing schedule. Okay, and this tells me the whole unfreezing schedule of my account. Okay, so it's 716 days, it's only 12%, right? None of it, you know, very little of these have been, have even started unfreezing. So I'm not going to muck around. I'm just going to take the whole lot and convert the whole lot. You have the choice, though, to leave certain months out. So you need to work it out as to how much has been unfrozen on these particular months. Uh, but I'm not actually going to do that. I'm actually going to take out the whole lot and convert the whole lot, get the process done. Once you do that, you're ready to convert. So you're ready to press this button down here. 
Now, be, be very mindful. Once you do this, there's no going back. Okay, guys? There's no going back, right? So make sure that you're happy with everything before you press this button. When you're happy, press the button, put in the PIN number, and press convert. Okay, conversion is done. And I now have five files for which I need to pay for. And this is why we need the USDU back in our, our wallet. Okay, so the in this particular case, this file is going to cost me five dollars. This one, two, three, one, and one. Okay, so a sum total of five, twelve dollars, twelve USDU altogether. Now, a number of you that have large accounts will find that you have got multiple files. Okay, so you need to start at the bottom. So if this goes down, you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then start and work your way from the bottom back up. Do not start from the top, okay? Advise that you start from the bottom and work your way up. If you find that you're halfway through your files and you get a, a screen that says, uh, won't give you your, won't allow you to give your PIN number, that means that you're out of USDU and you need to transfer more USDU back into your blockchain wallet to complete the process. So this is a very simple process. You Click on that, you put in your PIN number, you pay the fee, this one will disappear. Right now I've only got four. Okay, once again, pay the fee, disappeared, down to three. Down to two. Down to one, and finally, pay that one. Convergent process is done because you can see all the files have disappeared. Okay, so that, that side of it's all done. Once you've done that, you go back to your dashboard. Okay, you hit refresh or refresh your balances. Now I have all of my blocked CRU in my WCAU, they have been converted, right? So I've got 925,575, right? What I need to do now is click on the staking button here, right? Okay, I grab the emission, I go take it all the way across, it tells me that's how much I'm going to stake, I stake it, put in the pin number, I confirm that, Okay, and as you can see, my unstaking reward has already um, updated automatically. I can claim that if I want, very simply by doing that. It'll disappear. I go to wallet dashboard, I do a refresh. Okay, a refresh. Okay, now I have all the uh, UNTB down here, ready to be able to send it to the exchange, but I'll explain that in another video. Uh, my frozen CRU that was in here is no longer here. It is now at state WCRU, and that is the total completion of the process. Very, very easy. Um, so with that, I thank you. I hope you got some value out of this particular video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, click the notifications so every time I load up another video, you get notified of it. Until next time, this is Shane Bowes signing off. Thank you very much.